Here are three words you'll find in the story Na Rat Naps. The first word has, well, we know that this is a consonant vowel consonant with a short A sound. Do you know the short A sound? Can you say that? Ah. Good. Okay, so we have tan. Read it with me. Tap. those carefully and then now I'm going to let you mix those up. You want to mix them up? You mix them up and then we'll put them back together. Okay, let's let them to the bottom and try to put back together tan. Then there's the word tap. Tap. Make the sound as you move it up. Okay, good. And now can you make the word taps? You'll find the words on and no in <coughs> rat naps also. Now we've talked about when a vowel is at the beginning of a short word, the rule a lot of times is a short O, on. So this is on. And another rule that I haven't told you about yet is when a vowel is at the end of a word all by itself, usually it's long. It's the O sound. So this is the word no, and then the O makes a short sound of course. On, on, no. So you can play around with those, mix them up, and practice with those. On, no. Ready for those words. Now that you're ready to read the word no, and you know that an O at the end of some words will have the long sound O, we can make a couple more words. Here's a G sound. Put that in the Find one of those words, one of the O's, and then put this, the S sound in the front. Now, can you read all of those words on the list with the O sound? No, go, so. Very good. So, let's mix those up and see if you can get those put back together. Look for the Mmm sound to make the no. Now say the say the sounds as you grab no, them. Go, so. Very good. The word by is in the book Rat Naps. I'm gonna get you ready to read that. The I by. And so the Y at the end of the word many times will make the long I sound. So could you put this letter mm, can you read that word? Good. And then these two letters together make the Two letters work together, the WH says W. So, you're ready to read Rat Naps from Playful Pals. And in this story, Rat tries to take a nap, but the fan makes an awful rap, tap, tap noise. And Blue 
throws off his hat, and his hat lands on something, something all cats fear. Poor rat, he gets no nap. Find out what makes him. The book Box Hops from Short Vowel Plows has uh, the uh, three words that have the schwa sound. We've already talked a little bit about uh and the, like the uh sound. Uh. Well, this one has the schwa sound, it's the letter O. All vowels in some words will say the uh sound, the schwa sound. So that's important to learn. So we'll just make the two sounds in this word. Uh, mm, and this F sound isn't even a sound, it's kind of a V sound, but this is the word of. So yes, sometimes letters will change their sounds a little bit in words. Of, uh, the, of. And you've seen those in box hops. The book uh, Box Hops from Short Vowel Pals has a lot of short O sounds, ah, and you'll see this word in the story, cot, cot. Now some of you may not know what a cot is. It's a fold-up kind of bed, so it's not a very strong bed, and the fox decides um, that he, well he flops and flops on that cot. Flop Flops. So you'll see these words, and that's just the way of the bed moving and the fox moving. And so that it doesn't break and he doesn't hurt, get hurt, he should really stop. Stop. So now, remember cot is another word for bed, you'll see a picture of it. And then, one thing that's kind of new that we're doing is some blends, and that means two consonants together, and you want to kind of say them quickly together. So, we practice that a little while. Do it with me. Fold. Fold. St. Fold. Fold. St. Well, I'd like to make some words here with, uh, with these, with some parts. So A Y we learned a little earlier has the A sound. We work together the A and the Y. And then we also learned that a Y at the end of a word will sometimes say the I sound. Okay. So Let's read these words. Remember, that's the I. Glide. Pull a. St. A. Fly. Play. Stay. A little practice with the blends. Pull. So we could go ahead and try those a little bit. Maybe make those, make the other ones I just made earlier, the caught, flopped, flops, maybe the word stop. Have a little fun with the magnetic letters before you read the book. Box hops. You can practice with the words caught and stop and possibly mix them around and put them back together to get used to reading these words. So would you like to go ahead and read those words first and then mix them up? Caught. Try to spell is caught. Find those sounds.
the story Fox Hops. The fox hops on a cot, and then the cot flops, and then it makes the fox, then the fox flops. So those are the words we have here. Blends, bowl, ops. Lots of letters there, aren't there? Try to get back together. Do you think you're ready to mix them up and put them back together? Yep. Okay. Go ahead and mix them up. Slide them up at the bottom. Okay, let's work on the first word, hops. Find the same. Make the sound as you're moving. The next word is the cot plops. Ready to read Fox Hops from Play Playful Pals? Well, have you ever been told not to jump on a bed? Well, this naughty fox hops on a cot and flops and flops. Read Fox Hops and find out if Fox can stay on top of the cot. So, are we ready to read Pig Sits? In this story, the pig gets ready to eat. He has a bib, a table, and no chair. So he sits on a bin. A bin is another name for a box. Something goes wrong when the pig sits on the bin. Read this story to find out what Let's get ready to read Bug on a Rug. In the beginning of this story, this bug is so happy to be on a rug, he hums. Do you hum when you're happy? Or do you know anyone else who hums when they're happy? Well, this bug did. And then on the front cover here, you can see he looks a little scared. That rug is going up. 
So the, the bug gets scared when the magic rug goes up. He tugs on the rug to get down. This bug ends up getting a little messy in the story. Read this story to find out what happened. Bye -bye. Get ready to read the story, A Bed for Pets. Look at these pets with their legs sticking out. They use their legs for jumping and get fed in the den in bed. Read this story to see the mess they make. A Bed for Pets. Ready to read the story, the book, The Plant. Have you heard about a plant called a Venus flytrap? Some plants eat bugs. The plants I know about have to wait for, plant, for bugs to get caught in their trap. This story has a plant that chases ants. The plant in this story snaps and traps. The ants have a plan to stop the plant. They think it's a grand plan. Read this story to see if the ants' grand plan keep them safe from the plant. Keeps them safe. Okay, it's time to read Hop, Frog, Hop. A frog in a sock hops. A frog hops and can't see where he's going. Read this story to find out where he flops, flops, and hops. Okay, let's get ready to read Drips and Spells from Plankle Palace. This chick gets put in a crib. The chick milk and drips and spills. He is sad until he grins and gets an idea. Read drips and spills to find out what makes the chick sad and happy. Are you ready to read a trunk or buck? Well, in this story, a buck finds a trunk. This makes the boy deer very happy until he sees rust and dust. Have you ever touched metal that has rust? Well, rust is powdery and brown and will stick to your skin or clothes if you touch it. The buck scrubs the trunk and buffs it to a shine. Then the buck has lunch on the trunk. Find out what a buck has for lunch. Let's get ready to read Egg Legs. A chick hatches in this story. The chick's legs come out first. The chick can't see. The egg with legs steps out of the nest, but there are no steps. A hen saves the egg with legs and rests in the nest until the chick is ready to its way out. Read this story and you'll get to see this cute little chick peck its way out of the 